If you're always on a hunt for more FPS and you wonder what the different settings in the video control panel do, you've clicked on the right video. Because in today's video, I'm going to be comparing power management mode, optimal power versus maximum performance. So sit down, strap in, let's go. Right guys, as mentioned in the intro, what I'm going to be having a look at today is power management mode in the NVIDIA control panel. So just open up the NVIDIA control panel, it's under manage CD settings. And then you just scroll down until you find power management mode. And then you select this little box here and you've got five options. Optimal power, adaptive, preferred maximum performance, NVIDIA driver controlled, or preferred consistent performance. So the two settings I'm going to be comparing today is optimal power because people have a song and dance about why you should use optimal power. Um, that's not my recommendation. I recommend prefer maximum performance because I game on aging equipment. So 1% lows and 0.1% lows are very important to me because I'm getting like 30 frames per game. Let's, let's say for argument's sake. So every little drop, last drop of performance I can squeeze out, I'll take. But before I get to my, to my results, guys, if you subscribe to the channel, please just go, make sure that you are, have notifications set to all. And then while you're at it, you can like the video, you can smash the, the like button, you can comment on the video, you can share the video. If you're not subscribed to the channel, you find this content helpful, please consider subscribing by the end of the video. I am doing a whole bunch of video control panel settings individually. On Friday, I did do a video on that, so I'll link that at the end of the video. There's a full in video control panel video. And then, um, yeah, the, the throttle stop optimizations, MSR optimal optimizations, a whole bunch of optimizations on my own page to go through that. But, yeah, for the results, so let's get to it. So, as mentioned, it's in the video control panel, it's power management mode, and I compared prefer maximum performance versus optimal power. So I tested over, what, this is 16 games. And all my games are tested in medium settings, with the exception of all the newer games. Uh, they are on low settings, because I do test on a GTX 1650 laptop. Uh, where FSR 2.0 or 2.1 was available, use a quality setting. And as mentioned before, I test on a GTX 1650 laptop. So if you got a GTX card, your results will probably be similar to mine. However, if you're on RTX, it's much more powerful, your results may differ i can't help that and then lastly i do test on the latest nvidia driver not the hot fix nvidia 546.01 so guys let's get to those results with the nvidia control panel power management mode set to prefer maximum performance over 16 games i add up all my one uh, all my average fps to get to 1001 then i add up all my one percent lows and i get to 766 and then I add up all my 0.1% oh, lows and I get to 645. That's preferred maximum performance. When I set power management mode to optimal power, restart my computer twice just to make sure that it's taken effect. When I add up all the, the average FPS, I get to 1002. So one FPS higher, but I mean, that, that could be, um, uh, that could just be variance. Um, and but once I add up all the 1% lows, you can see my 1% lows are quite a bit lower. I get to 755, so 11 1% lows different on the over the 16 games on optimal power. So it's already a performance drop from preferred maximum performance. And then once I add up all the 0.1% lows over those four, uh, 16 games, I get to 626. So you can see there's a 20 FPS drop in terms of 0.1% lows. So guys, in terms of average FPS, not much of a difference between preferred maximum performance and optimal power, but where the performance difference does lie is in the 1% lows, it becomes less stable once you use optimal power, and then even more so in the 0.1% lows. So guys, if you're all about performance, um, and you like to squeeze FPS here and there, don't use optimal power, use preferred maximum performance. I did do a full NVIDIA optimization guide specifically geared towards single player games. Um, I did do that on Friday, as mentioned, I will link that at the end of this video. But in the meantime, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comment section. And as always, guys, if you're still watching and you haven't subscribed as of yet, 
and now's the time to do so. It's Monday, it's a new week. Have a good one. It's people like you. Cheers.